Hi guys, it's been such an honor to work with so many of you in so many different clinicals. I am so excited to see you guys finish your education and start in your first real jobs. And I've thought really hard about what to say today. My first bit of advice to any new grad is to trust your gut. If something inside of you says, this isn't right, or you've got this sinking pit in the bottom of your stomach, it probably isn't right. So uh, stop, double check. Anytime I've tried to ignore that, it has not gone well. So trust your gut. Slow down and focus. It's so easy when phones are ringing and you've got this group of patients and you're trying to balance the meds and the admissions and the discharges um, to not take that second and double check, but it is so vital. Stop at the doorway, make sure everything's going that should be going, that your right pump programming is going, that your safety alarms are on. Just stop and check. Uh, here's some of the practical advice that I give when I teach classes for new grads and not new grads. Um, if you get a Foley in the wrong hole for a female, leave it, and then you know which wrong hole you're not going for the second time. Makes a big difference. You don't want to get the wrong hole twice. Um, always have a backup pair of sterile gloves if you're doing a sterile procedure. It's much easier to do the right thing and change out if you've accidentally unsterilized yourself if it doesn't involve having to go back out to the supply room, take off your isolation gown. Much easier to do the right thing when it's convenient. My rule of thumb is always have at least one extra set of sterile gloves and an extra Foley kit or whatever I'm doing um, right outside the door, just out of paranoia. Um, keep learning, keep growing, whatever that looks like for you, whether that's going back to school, whether that's getting certified, whatever it is. Nursing is endlessly different. You can do all sorts of things. Keep growing. Um, if you sense escalating behaviors, loud voices, agitation, frustration, be between the patient and the door so you have an exit route. Wish I didn't have to say this one, but it's true and it will hold you in good stead, not just in nursing, but in life in general. And then for kind of that EMU perspective, I can almost always tell at the hospital who was an EMU grad. And that's because of the sense of calling. Nursing really is a service, however it translates to you. Don't let other people destroy your vision of nursing. Um, remember what makes you special. Don't let other people tell you, oh, you're not getting paid enough for this, or this is just a job. Um, in order for this to be a meaningful, fulfilling, it has to be more than a job. And that is to me is what makes a difference when I approach a shift as a chance to care for those around me, a chance to care for my community. That's what makes this job worthwhile. Taking those moments to connect with your patients. And really it's about giving a little bit of myself as I care for patients and allowing them to give a little bit of themselves to me and to hold that trust. And I know the exemplars and the, the journals might feel hokey, but they are the best part of who you are. Those moments where you grew, the moments where you grieved, the moments where you saw love and you can still trust and you made a difference, that's what makes this job. And having said that, no job is perfect. So if you end up in a job and you're like, oh, this one's not perfect, the next one might be, there is good and bad in every job and every workplace. To some extent, we have to work to make them. To some extent, you may have to switch. But just know that there is no perfect job, no, definitely no perfect shift. We are imperfect people, taking care of imperfect people. But I hope that you have as much joy in your careers as I've had in these 22 years since I was last here in getting penned. You guys are going to be amazing, and I can't wait to see where you turn out through your careers. Congratulations.